So we're out and about again. Uh, we've had a bit of a stop. Elle's eating an apple and we're at uh, Sheepfield, which is just around the corner from the main town that I live or we live. Um, we decided to come out on the bike this morning. Well, I said, let's go out on the bike and he jumped it. He was out the door before I could even get my trainers on. Um, but it's just uh, just a quick, a quick catch up of um, what we're doing. We've been out on the bike as usual, but most of the day or most of the morning, he's decided to, um, He's decided to walk because he's had an apple. So I've been carrying the bike. So um, yeah, not, not great to do that, but hey, it is what it is. So, um, just uh, just a, a quick catch up of um, look where I used to live was in Milton Keynes and um, now I've moved out of Milton Keynes uh, quite a while ago and being out of Milton Keynes makes you realize how, how lack of character Milton Keynes is or has. It's, um, it's great, it's got a convenience and all those things. Um, but it hasn't got anything natural. Everything's manufactured and made up. Um, it's all pre-built, pre-planned, zero character at all. Now I live in a town about 15, 20 minutes away from Milton Keynes now. All right, mate, making a noise. And um, just being out of Milton Keynes makes you realize that, you know, it, it's better to be away from it. Yeah, you know, you might go in there to work and do those things and do sport things, but, um, no, I'd never go back to Milton Keynes uh, as long as I live. I think ideally I like to live in places that have got a bit more character where I live now, uh, a bit more of a, a community, a bit more of a, a feeling where people actually talk to each other instead of just ignore each other, which I can't stand. And um, I think my ideal place would be eventually to move up to the Lake District uh, because um, that's one beautiful place. And there's something and somewhere my family's always um, gone. We've always gone as kids. And um, I'm going to take this little dude up to the Lake District more and more as he gets old and start crashing him with some walks and, and uh, in, introducing him to, to some of the hills and the climbs up there. And um, it just emphasises how important it is to get kids away from TV, screens, tablets, um, all that stuff that we are stuck in. And we're stuck in the system with all this crap. Um, and I know at the moment I'm using my phone to do my YouTube channel, uh, but every opportunity with this little dude, where is he? Say hello, El. Hello. Oh, oh, hold up, say hello, El. Here are you. Go on, El, say hello. Hello. Where have you been today, mate? Hello. Hello, you've been to hello. Is that a new place, is it? Where are we at the moment? Where's the sheep? Zero, um, but yeah, it's just. I think it's just important. Um, we're we're Mama. programming our kids too much to to be on screens, and I think it's sometimes easy just to give a kid a screen, isn't it, and get them to shut up. But that's not my idea. I don't do that. I, I would uh, rather not give him a screen and uh, and play with him um, anytime he wants my attention. This this phone nowhere near me. And I said that as soon as he was born. I'm not going to get into a habit of sitting there as a parent on my phone while he's playing. If he's playing, that's fine. If he wants to do it on his own, that's cool. But most of the time, I'll try and interact with him and play with him. And that's the most important thing. And any opportunity to get outside, we get outside. And that's the most important thing for him. It's great for his well-being, And um, I think that's the way I'm gonna push it. Um, he's getting windy now because he's stuck in one place and he wants to get back on his bike. Although I've been carrying the bike all day. Um, but we're gonna go home now. I think it's, I think it's nap time. You're gonna say bye, Al. Go on then, say bye. Bye. Good lad. Cool, we'll see you later then, bye.